Hi, I'm Harry Grammer with New Earth Organization. And I'm reading a poem from Brian, age nine, uh, from Glendale, California. It's called Essay on Tomorrow. It is true that our tomorrow depends on what we think or how we behave today. We are living in a stressful time, but also live in a stressful way. The story I am writing for you and others is a sad but true story. We speak of helping others. We also invite others to help children or help America's child hunger programs, but we only talk about the idea. However, most of the people do not want to help. During the first days of COVID-19 crisis, my parents and I went shopping at the store. I did not see any items to buy. There was no bread, there was no water, there was no juice. It told me that some people don't really care about me and my family. We always speak about helping each other, but when it comes time to help, we forget or we hope someone else will do it. It is always easy to speak or write, but it is always hard to do the right thing. If I don't want to help my classmates or friends that I know, then how can I help someone that I do not know or see? What is the problem? The problem is in me and everyone else. But how? Everyone thinks he or she is more important than others. We don't know what is good or what is bad. We need to think again and remember who we are. If we understand who we are, we will know what is right and what is wrong. We will help children all over the world when we learn to help our neighbors. Or we will play a pretend game like Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. That will be the story of tomorrow. Brian, Brian, age nine. Wow, how awake you are, my friend. How you see things so clearly. We do need to care for each other and see each other and see ourselves in each other. We need to be that change we want to see in the world. There's no reason for you as a nine-year-old to walk into a store and to not see juice or food. This is not the world that you nor I want to live in. It's about creating a new, a new world, a new life where abundance is abundant. And I just think that continue to keep your eyes open this way, look around you and don't blame others. You know, they're going to do what they're going to do, but see it for what it is. It will enliven you. It will charge you. It will create your life by continuing to serve others and making sure that you and your family have food on your table and that others have food on their table. And life in that way is service. Thank you for this poem. Beautiful, beautiful poem. Um, and... Uh, you know, I want to challenge, let's see, I want to challenge Lorenz Tate um, to read a poem. So, Lorenz, if you're out there, um, grab a poem, my man. Grab a poem. All right. Thank you.